I have a strange video today. I bought this Sabrent Rocket Nano. It's a rugged uh, NVMe enclosure with an NVMe inside. I actually bought this intentionally to tear it apart and take out the NVMe. Why do you ask I'm doing that? The Lenovo Legion Go is coming out in like two weeks, I guess it'll be at my door. And that one actually has a 2242 size NVMe. So, you know, the Steam Deck and the ROG Ally use these 2232 size NVMe's. The 2242 is a little bit longer. It's about that big. Um, Lenovo uses 2242 in a lot of their laptops. I actually have a ThinkBook right here that I'm going to be reviewing. So it's a reviewing, it also takes 2242. So I ordered a 2242 size NVMe, but I wanted a second one because I need one for my Legion Go that's coming and I need one for my ThinkBook. The 2242 Sabrent Rockets in general are around 260 Canadian dollars for the just the NV, just for the NVMe, like just the NVMe, like 240. 260-ish Canadian dollars, I'd say, before tax. So you're depending on your province, you're looking at almost $300, a lot of money. This here was under $200. I think it was $190 uh, before tax. So for me, it was like 200 bucks. And here's what I'm talking about. This here is the exact drive that is inside this right here. Same exact NVMe. That right there is this inside of there. So when I shucked that drive, which was, this is Canadian dollars, 194 Canadian, that's the price there versus 259 so basically 50 60 dollars uh basically 65 canadian dollars saved that's actually quite a bit it's like this is the way to go if you're looking for a 2242 from sabrent it's the same exact drive and you basically just you know you can buy it as it is and just stick it in your device or you can take 45 seconds to tear it down and then put that inside your device it's the exact same drive stick around there yeah it's going to be very look at that nice very beautiful presentation here. Metal tin, which I will be then using for many other things. We get two different USB-C. C to C, which will give you your top speed in theory. This will give you 1,000 megabytes a second. C to A, in theory, this is also 1,000 megabytes a second. Um, not always, but it should be in theory. Uh, that's all that's up there, except that. That's there. So, so it's a tiny little guy. Um, what can I compare this to? Okay, and here's the results. Pretty standard as we expect, 1,000 megabytes a second or so when we're getting, you know, Crystal Benchmark, Addo, same thing, 1,000 megabytes a second. Uh, that's pretty standard for this, like the actual speed of the controller. It should have good longevity being a TLC drive, you know, a good lifespan. Um, when it's full, it shouldn't get any slower. It's just because it doesn't have DRAM. In theory, um, I mean, it might be okay with, you know, long writes. I have this Sabrent Rocket here, which is a QLC and no DL, DRAM drive. So no DRAM and a QLC drive, but it performs incredibly well. It will sustain its writes like this is doing right through. Okay, here we are back a couple minutes later and it's still maintaining, like that's its 500 peak. That was a 400, and that was just, you know, file sizes or whatever. Um, but the key here is that it's maintaining very good writes in real world. You know, these synthetic benchmarks only tell a very brief burst picture. And that's our size there. It's basically the size of a sodium. A little tiny bit wider. Obviously, it's thicker, but it's a tiny little guy. Look at that. Look at that. And here's a standard NVMe enclosure from Oracle I've reviewed. I mean, you can see the height difference there, right? It's almost double the height. And you can take this off if you don't want the rubberized protector. And that's even more tiny. Look at that cute little guy there. Warranty void if removed. Okay, and here's the fun part where we actually take this apart and take out the drive because, again, I'm not going to be using this as an external. I'm going to be using it as an internal, either in my laptop or my Legion Go, just depends which one I have um, putting it in. So it's gonna be using one of my Lenovo devices. It just depends on your country. So easy enough to take that out. Can't remember. Okay, that's easy enough. This is a really rugged thing. Like when they say rugged, they actually mean it. It's, I don't think it's, it's not waterproof or anything, but the actual container itself is like solid, probably aluminum, but it's, uh, it's quite nice. There's actually a thermal pad in there, which is great. And it looks like it is actually sitting on the chip. I can feel a little bit of heat in here from that work there. So this is gonna work as a passive cooler where um, you know the heat goes in the thermal pad and then it goes into this thick piece of metal, dissipates into the whole case. So the actual enclosure itself will get warm. People always say, the enclosure gets warm, that's bad. No, it's not. It's supposed to get warm. Your NVMe is not supposed to get warm. Okay. Ooh, it's double-sided. Yeah, so this is this is actually a rocket. So Brent Nano, it's literally the drive. So it looks good. You can see what's inside there. So this should be exactly, I will test it to make sure because sometimes, you know, they put firmware. I don't think Sabrent does this, but Western Digital puts firmware to basically nerf 
their device once you take it out. But this is looking real good so far. Okay, and here we are on my new thick book, and I have a two, two I have a two two four two size uh, slot in there. So you can see here, rugged apparently. Is what so here's the Nano here, and we'll just give it a quick test and see if it runs as fast as it should as a uh, internal now, um, or if they did some type of shenanigans to keep it running slower as an internal drive. And there we go, boom. So it's, uh, you know, on the external side of it, it's gonna run at 1000 megabytes a second or so. And that's because it is a, you know, USB-C limited controller. But you can see here, we're getting full, um, you know, drive speeds. That's as fast as the drive can go. It's not, you know, it's not a Gen 4 drive, it's a Gen 3 drive. Um, inside this enclosure, it's basically just running at the speed of the uh, USB-C controller. So when you take it out, you're gonna get full speeds here. And just for the sake of brevity, because I don't like to leave things half done, this is the, uh, obviously the shucked drive. I actually bought like a real one of this drive, just like the raw form of it, that is not inside of a um, enclosure. Another nice case, I love these. Sabrent knows how to present things. I actually bought this from the Sabrent eBay. They have an official eBay. Um, and it's apparently refurbished or something like that, or no, no, it was open box returned. So hopefully it's not messed up. But you can see here, it's the same drive. It just does a sticker on the side, right? Same drive, one has a sticker. But, I mean, you never know. Western Digital does kind of nerf their enclosures uh, when you take them out. The speeds were good in this thing book. Um, you know, I was getting 2,000 or whatever it was, but I just want to double check to make sure that, I just want to double check to make sure that this is running the same. And here's the results of the official drive. So, you know, within margin of error, it's identical. Actually, it's interesting that it has a different name up here. The uh, shucked one actually said Sabrent Nano. This one has like the uh, model number, but whatever. Um, yeah, they are identical. So get whichever is cheaper, um, depending on warranty. In some cases, you know, tearing down the enclosure might screw your warranty. You can always put it back together and then you send the whole unit back. Uh, but, you know, just be sure about that in your country. You know, if you take it apart, you want to put it back together and send it in if something goes wrong. Whereas the standalone drive, that's going to be fine. Um, in my, where I live in Canada, you know, I could just put it back together and send it in consumer protection wouldn't matter. So for me, I'm actually going to keep both because I need one for my laptop and one for my Legion Go. But if I didn't, I would just keep the shucked one because it's considerably cheaper by like 20 or 30%.